Good evening and welcome to another science segment. I am Sanjay Singh from the Department of Science and will be your host for this session. Today I touch on a topic that more closes to home to all of us on coral reefs. Being an islander or a citizen of Fiji Islands, I look to the ocean as a provider, protector, but most importantly, a priceless treasure to not only me, but many. Probably one of the most prominent ocean resources present in Fiji and the world is the coral reefs. Actually, coral reefs cover less than 0.1% of the seabed. And you may be thinking that this percentage is relatively little in comparison to the overall size of the ocean. But coral reefs are home to 25% of the world's marine species, many of which we consume on a daily basis. Moreover, it acts as a nesting ground and provides protection from large predators. It is also fascinating to know that the largest living structure in the world is the coral reef, stretching for 1,429 miles over an area of approximately 183,000 square miles. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest coral reef system in the world. This reef system can be seen from space. Apart from this, coral reefs are a significant ecosystem that supports a diversity of human needs, such as generating income for local people through tourism, fishing, and recreational activities. About 0.5 billion people across the globe depend on these reefs, and due to COVID-19, this number has dramatically increased. Coral reefs also assist in the protection of coastal locations from impacts of storms and erosion from wave action, both of which is likely to increase due to climate change. Also, coral reefs contain a variety of organisms that are vital towards the development of medicine. Therefore, it is one of the Earth's medicine cabinets. Coral reef plants and animals are important sources of new medicines being developed to treat cancer, arthritis, human bacterial infections, Alzheimer's disease, and heart disease. Many medicinal compounds are yet to be explored. Just imagine a groundbreaking discovery is waiting to be discovered. But this depends on the survival of coral reefs. In many parts of the world, coral reefs are a critical part of cultural heritage and various traditions are linked to these reefs. Coral bleaching is a serious global concern. It is caused by increasing seawater temperature. When water is too warm, corals will expel the algae zooxanthellae, leaving in their tissues, causing the coral to turn completely white. One of the most devastating coral bleaching events took place in Kiribati, where approximately 95% of their coral system was lost in 2015 to 2016 period. Fiji Islands in the year 2000 suffered a severe bleaching event and since then has experienced at least three other events. The last one being in 2016 which saw 30 to 60 percent of the coral killed in the shallow reefs along the coral coast. Pacific Islanders contribute the least damage to their reefs and there is still a need for public awareness on how they can save their corals from further bleaching. One way to combat coral bleaching is by reducing the global carbon emissions in order to combat the impacts of climate change. Therefore, it is essential to raise awareness and implement measures for the protection and management of coral reefs. If nothing is done now, coral reefs all over the globe will degrade. The services it once provided will be reduced or eliminated, possibly forever. That's all for today's segment. Till we meet again, please take care and stay safe. Vinaka.